All right, we've got a bit of a worded problem here. Again, make sure you follow along with me showing full working. So it says that Jacqueline has saved $50 to purchase a new pair of jeans. She tries on many different pairs, but only two styles, but only likes two styles, EV and Next. The EV jeans are normally $70 and are on sale for 20, with a 25% discount. The Next jeans retail for $80 and have a 40% discount for the next 24 hours. Can Jacqueline afford either of the jeans? Okay, so we need to figure out how much she is saving here. So let's figure out where, for the first one. So EV, EV, they're normally $70 and she's getting 25% off. So what we need to do is say, all right, what is 25% of $70? And that is going to be her discount. So we can even write that in. What we're finding here is her discount. So her discount is 25% of 70. So remember what you do here is you write 25 over 100 times by 70 on one. You then cancel out. So what can I cancel here? I could cancel a zero and a zero. I could cancel uh, 10 and 25, both of which are divisible by five. This would become two and this would become five. And then I have to multiply across here. So I'm gonna go five times seven is 35 and two times one is two. So what is half of 35? Well, hopefully you can say, well, half of 35 is going to be 17.50. If you're struggling to do that, what you could do is set up a little bit of short division here. So remember, this is gonna be 35.0. How many times does two go into three? It goes in once with once remainder. How many times does two go into 15? Uh, it goes in seven times because two sevens are 14 with one remainder. How many times does two go into 10? It goes in five times. So 1750, that's how we got that right there. Now, remember, this is the discount. So let's write the discount is equal to $17.50. That isn't how much she's paying. What is she paying? Well, she's going to pay Take the $70 that they're normally worth and subtract from that your saving of $17.50. So you're subtracting the discount from it. And when you do that, what you're going to end up with is $52.50. So now the question is, can she afford them? Well, remember, she has $50. So can Jacqueline afford either of these jeans? Well, we definitely can say that she can't afford these ones. She can't afford them. Let's see if she can afford the other pair of jeans. So we're gonna follow this same process yet again. So this time it's $80 and she gets a 40% discount. So to figure out the discount, we need to figure out what is 40% of $80. So that's 40 over 100 times by 80 over one. And now what we're going to do is we're gonna say, all right, this zero cancels with that zero, that zero cancels with that zero. So that's going to leave us with, all right, four times eight is 32, and one times one is one. So that means her discount is going to be equal to $32. Now that doesn't mean she's paying $32. What is she paying? Well, they're originally $80, and she is getting a $32 discount from them. So what is 80 minus 32? Well, it's going to be equal to 48. So can she afford these pair of jeans? Yes, she can afford them. That's the ugliest them I've ever seen. Let's try that again, them. Man, because it's only $48, so they're $48 and they're $52.50. So that's how you would approach this question. Hopefully that made sense.